Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So I've seen lots of comments both on the streams as well as questions in the comment section about Field of View and Apex Legends. I'm gonna get right into it. Today we're gonna discuss low FOV versus high FOV, the pros and cons, and debunk some quick myths. I covered this briefly in a previous guide, but I could tell this needed its own video. I'm gonna go to both extremes. I'm gonna go to the lowest FOV and the highest FOV and talk about the pros and cons. So. The pros of low FOV are objects and people will appear larger, aka you'll be more zoomed in. You'll appear to move slower. So if you don't like the speed and you kind of want things to feel a little slowed down movement wise, it'll be slower. Now it depends on the engine, but with less objects shown on screen, you know, the depth, the depth of field of seeing things further away on the map, your FPS is going to improve. Now, if the game engine is more zoomed in and loading high risk textures, and of course it's going to hit the frame rate even harder. So it really depends what an apex, because there's a, a large scale map, having a lower FOV is most likely going to give you a little bit more frame rate. Now the cons of low FOV, as you can see, I mean, I, I, in the back of the screen, I'm going to be showcasing both low FOV and high FOV gameplay. You do feel extremely claustrophobic as you can see less around you. It can cause motion sickness due to the way the camera moves. That's why some opt for a higher FOV or kind of just go right in the middle. Movement again will feel sluggish if that's just not your preference. Objects up close will appear to move much faster and cause you to misjudge your sensitivity. This could be a pro. So I put it in the con because most of the time people don't like this, but it could be a pro if you prefer objects to move faster though. And it just matches more with your arm movement or controller movement. It's really up to you. So let's discuss the pros of high FOV. So one of the pros is you can see more objects around you. It feels less claustrophobic. You have more around you that obviously, like I said before, that you can see. And the movement feels less restricted because you can view more objects around you. Now the cons of high FOV. Again, objects will appear further away, meaning that they'll appear smaller. This can be harder to snipe or shoot enemies at a distance as visually you won't be able to see them as much. And of course, with it too high of an FOV, it'll cause a fish eye lens. So objects will kind of look a little distorted. FPS will drop a bit as more objects are rendered around you on screen. And of course, objects will appear to move slower. This can mess with your sensitivity wise. So I put it as a con again, because depending on your sensitivity from PC and controller, this really depends on the end user. So it's just something to notate on both ends as you're trying to find the sensitivity. Again, no FOV does not affect your sensitivity. It just depends on you moving inches per 360 movement wise on the camera. We're gonna give a really great example of this later. So let's spit out some quick facts about field of view and Apex Legends. Number one, Apex Legends FOV scales depending on the scope that you're using. Additionally, not all iron sights are the same. For consistency, this is where we pick up the hollow, the HCOG, and so forth. FOV does not affect recoil. That's number two. Again, I will say FOV does not affect your recoil. When you shoot, re the recoil does not change. It only changes visually. When I say visually, it's because you are more zoomed in. It may feel like it increases when you have a low FOV, but you're just simply more zoomed in and seeing it more. When you're more zoomed out with a higher FOV and you have that fisheye lens, like we stated before, the recoil is going to appear smaller. The movement and sensitivity is going to remain the same. Just a quick note about the above. So Apex Legends does scale down your sensitivity. So both on PC and controller. So the higher the magnification, the lower or slower your sensitivity is going to be. For PC players, this is how much movement it takes to do a full 360 with your arm or your fingers, depending on your sensitivity setting. For controllers, this is how long it'll take for you to hold left or right stick until you complete a full 360. You can test this out by shooting at a wall then doing a full spin and realize how long it takes until you make a full 360. The sensitivity is scaled to assist with shooting, so it doesn't feel as jarring, because if you have a high sensitivity with a low FOV, it's going to feel very fast. The camera is just going to be overwhelming. But remember, your arm movement and the amount of time it takes for you to move your controller stick to that location does not change if you're matching your hip fire to your 1x and 2x. I personally match my hipfire sensitivity to my 1x and 2x zoom. 
So remember, sensitivity settings are all preference because I know the next question is that, well, Daz, what is the best setting? There is no best setting. There is no best sensitivity. I can put you in a ballpark what you'll feel comfortable with, but that is dependent on person to person. So just simply copying a sensitivity doesn't necessarily make you better. You have to utilize that and say, does this feel more comfortable to me? Whenever you're matching your hip fire to your 1X or 2X zoom, the pro of this is that your hip fire matches where you're trying to shoot right after. I highly reiterate that this is really personal preference of what you're trying to achieve. Under your settings, both on console and PC, you can change your sensitivity per zoom. So if you want your aim down slice to be faster, you can make it faster. Now, number three, fact number three, the FOV you pick for base will affect all your ADS and scopes. If you pick a lower FOV, your 6x and your 4x, all those zooms will be more zoomed in because the FOV is now lower. The same thing for the opposite spectrum that if you have a high FOV, max FOV, and you start using a sniper scope, it'll appear that it's more zoomed out, but you're just seeing more around you FOV wise. Again, it doesn't change recoil. It doesn't change anything besides what you're visually seeing. Some games, again, give an option for FOV for field of view to have it not scale. But unfortunately with Apex Legends, it doesn't give you that option. So remember your base FOV does affect all your other scopes in terms of how zoomed in you're going to be. Another fact, fact number four, the larger characters are not slower than other characters. Their FOV is a bit different naturally than other characters. So Gibraltar is not slower than Lifeline. Your FOV and how it's, it's scaled will feel slower or more sluggish. But this goes back to high FOV versus low FOV. The lower the field of view, the slower you feel. Just because you have a higher FOV does not mean you are magically faster. I will close with this thought for field of view to help you understand it more in a video game and put it in more of a real life context. Imagine you have a camera. Through the camera, you get a view of the world, right? You can, it can be your camera phone or whatever camera. You can add effects or filters and even change the resolution. Now you change the zoom. You can put a different lens on it. This is... FOV is in layman's terms if putting a different lens on it. This lens can be more zoomed in and make objects appear larger and focus more on an object further away. And it can be much harder to keep this zoom steady or that lens steady. It's much more sensitive to motion. And objects, like we said, are much larger. If someone is waving a mile away, that person and location is not changed. But the lens and zoom is. You can put a wider lens and get a larger view and it will seem like people are moving much slower. Maybe the camera might feel more steady, but your hand movement has not changed. You're more zoomed out. Objects do not magically become smaller, but your view of it has. So it's that kind of magic mirror when you're driving on a car, objects may appear closer than what they appear, just as an example. It still has the same motion, no matter the lens, for you to turn and do a full 360, just kind of put in perspective field of view. So I know people may ask, what field of view do I use? I personally utilize 101 for my field of view, but this is personal preference. I do not like too much FOV because then I can't really snipe. Uh, I mean, I can snipe, but I like to see my objects. But if I go too low, then I can't see enough around me. Also, fights will visually get overwhelming when you're that zoomed in. I hope you guys found this helpful. Leave a like if these quick pros and cons helped you guys and also quick facts regarding Apex Legends and how it handles field of view. Every time in stream I get asked this question and I explain this, everyone has always said that it's helped them up their game. And that's my goal. I wanna help you get better at Apex Legends and I hope by putting out these guides and what you see makes you a better player both on PC or console. Thank you again so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.